Hey guys, good morning. It's a Sunday morning and um, I had a cold. I was supposed to video or post a video and I just have not felt great. So I'm starting a reserve block, my second reserve block for the month. And I'm pretty far down the list. I'm like number 12. So, and there's a lot of people like that have not flown at all this month. Um, so I am hoping that maybe I just won't get used. This morning I am going to do some laundry. I've got some uniforms to wash and, uh, I think I'm going to have pancakes. This week is Easter and the week after that is my oldest child's graduation from college. What? So that's two, two graduated from college, which is just blows my mind. I'm so proud of them. Um, so yeah, we're going to go up to Washington and uh, just be a part of that. So I'm very excited. Uh, so we got a fun, busy month. And then the week after that, I was supposed to go to Indiana to visit my family out there. My niece, great niece, is turning two. And yeah, so fun stuff. Um, so hopefully uh, you guys are interested and want to come along on all those journeys because, I mean... I'm going to take you anyway, so you better just pack up. All right, uh, I'm going to go do laundry and eat, and I'll check back in and let you know if I get put on a trip. Hey, guys, good morning. So a lot has happened <laughs> since I talked to you last. Um, I went to bed last night at number three, so from 12 to 3 during the day. Um... You know, trying to figure out how, I'm trying to figure out this lighting, uh, trying to figure out how the reserve system works is, it's an enigma. I honestly thought that I would just sit at home. <laughs> ha ha ha. <laughs> just when you think you've figured out the system, it does something different. So there were a lot more trips in open time than I had accounted for. Well, they, they would, like, assign trips, and then more would pop in. So I think, uh, I don't know what was going on. A lot of people were calling in sick or something. Um, and then I know a few reserves called out, too. So anyway, so I woke up. Well, I barely slept, like, off and on until about, probably about 2, <laughs> which is when they were supposed to be able to call me. And I looked, and um, there were two, uh, there were two trips. And then shortly after that, those the two people above me got those two trips, and then I became number one. So I was number one for, like, most of the time after 2 a.m. And uh, there were some turns in there, but I figured they wouldn't give me one of those because I'm good for three days. So um, I kind of started thinking that I might get airport standby, which would have been fine. And uh, I did, actually. I got airport standby at about, I want to say five, like my phone went off and I looked and I had airport standby. So, um, so anyway, uh, had airport standby, so I just went back to sleep because I wasn't going to have to be there till 11.30 and actually got a little bit of good sleep. And, um, and then all of a sudden my phone was like bling, bling, bling. So I looked and they had put a trip on my board. <laughs> well, I clicked on the wrong trip and it said I was supposed to be there at 7 30 <laughs> and it was seven <laughs> I was like ah. like what the heck are they doing like I was so confused and then I realized I clicked on an old trip so anyway I now have a trip <laughs> now I have a three-day trip um I have report well I still have to report at my airport standby time that's like a contractual rule I don't know what the point of it is but so I still have to be there at 11 30 um I technical report time for the trip is 11.50 and um, we're going to two new places. Are you guys so excited? Two new places. I have Syracuse overnight and an Albany overnight. I have never been to either one of those so I'm very excited. Um, I have to look at the weather and see what I need to bring but um, yeah so I'm gonna make my coffee and get ready. Um, according to the map it says an hour and a half at so I could leave at 9 and get there by 10.30. So I'm leaving at 9. <laughs> and I'll probably get there by 11. That's, that's what I think. 
So anyway, all right, I'm going to make my little instant coffee this morning and uh, go shower and stuff. The funny thing about her drinking out of the sink like this is she literally has like a water fountain that flows all day. <laughs> so she has fresh water. So I don't know why she needs to come drink from the sink, but she's definitely a little bit needy and she likes to be where you are. So I guess she wants to drink water near me right now. <laughs> so, sometimes I think she knows what I'm leaving. <laughs> so she's a silly kitty. Hey guys, I'm so disappointed in myself. I can't even talk about it right now. part that I filmed for this vlog. I filmed it at the airport and I didn't realize how bad the background noise was and it was super annoying and you couldn't hear a word I was saying. So I'm re-recording that part and uh, this is the story of what happened when I got on my way to the airport last week. So I'm on my way to the airport. I am in my brain reporting at 11.30 for airport standby and then a trip at 11.50. So it's like, you know, all so perfect timing. So I hop in my car at 9.20 and head out. And I'm about 20, 30 minutes up the road and I see the phone ringing crew scheduling. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's weird. I wonder why they're calling me. And uh, so um, I answer the phone and I could barely hear, like it was kind of, I was in a bad area and it was like cutting in and out. And the guy was like, um, are you almost at the airport? And I was like, no, I'm like, I don't have to be there till 1130. And he said, no, you're supposed to be there at 930. He's like 1130 Central. And I was like, I wanted to die. <laughs> I have had such a point of like being so proud of myself for never messing that up. And I don't know why they still do it, but they give us everything in central time. They call it herb time. And I don't know why they can't just do local time for everything, but they don't. And I know this and I'm supposed to switch it. And so when I got my original airport standby assignment, I was supposed to be there at 930. <laughs> so I got up at the time I was supposed to be leaving. So I called them and they basically put it on my board as a no show which is accurate. I did not show up at the appropriate time. But then once you, if you get there and you actually do check in for your assignment, then they take the no-show off and they put a failure to report. So a no-show is two and a half points and a failure to report is one point. Thankfully, I have plenty of points and uh, so I only lost one and I have like a negative, so I'm okay on that. But I just, I'm so disappointed because I, First of all, I don't like being late. And second of all, I don't like messing up like that. I don't like having marks on my board, you know, like, ah. So anyway, it all worked out fine in the end, but I was super frustrated with myself and super disappointed. Um, but I did have, end up having some extra time and was able to get some food and the flight was a little bit delayed. So that kind of worked in my favor. So anyway, that is my story, my rookie mistake that I'll probably never make again, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> anyway, so I just wanted to share that and uh, yeah, that's it. Now on with the rest of the actual vlog. <laughs> nice out. I think it's kind of cold, but it's nice. The weather looks good, so I think I'm going to go walk around a little bit, get some coffee, breakfast, whatever. My lips are very chapped. Um, and yeah, so we got in super late. I ate my food and crashed. Uh, I had actually had a very smooth day yesterday. Uh, we flew to the 
Baltimore first. Um, very uneventful. It was about four, a little over four hours from uh, LA to Baltimore. We had 165 people. And then we flew from Baltimore to here to Syracuse and that was about an hour. And only had like 59 people. So all in all, it was a pretty smooth, easy day, except for the start. <laughs> that was a little bit bumpy, but what are you gonna do? So anyway, I found out that for my failure to report, I get one point. <laughs> so, oh well. I know I have like a surplus of points, so I'm okay. Um, if I had only the no-show, um, it's like two and a half points, so. Um, yeah. so anyway, uh, all right, I'm gonna get some clothes on and head out. I forgot to say, this room has no refrigerator. Really bums me out. Thankfully, I put a big old bag of ice in my lunch bag before I got off the plane, uh, which I don't normally do, but I had uh, kind of weird ice packs yesterday, so we'll see how my stuff stood up. I mean, it's chilly. I wouldn't say it's cold. That's disappointing.
just had breakfast over there in that little cute little place over there called Across the Hall Cafe. And now I'm going to go look for the Erie Canal Museum. Did y'all ever sing that song in uh, grade school? <laughs> Probably if you're younger than like 35, you have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> but uh, I know most of my viewers uh, are in the little bit older age range. Um, oh, it's right there. Uh, so it's, uh, gosh, what's the name of that song? It goes 15 miles to the Erie Canal. <laughs> I'm not a singer. And also, I'm <laughs> getting over a cold, so that makes it even worse. Uh, anyway, here we go. We're going to go to the Erie Canal Museum. Hey guys, so I forgot to tell you I'm working the D position today, which means I'm kind of, uh, I'm uh, in the back. <laughs> Alright, so one of my responsibilities is this guy here. This is called the passenger count worksheet. Uh, we only do this uh, on certain flights, just depending on how many passengers we have. Um, because the plane has to be balanced um, in order to fly well. Um, so I have to count out. We have uh, three zones. I'll show you. So the ops agent will tell us approximately how many people are going to be boarding and then you have to place those numbers in each zone and hopefully it totals up to the right amount. <laughs> I hate doing it because it's a lot of pressure. <laughs> At the last minute you have to make sure you have the right numbers. So anyway, um, I'm going to go get ready to uh, fly. <laughs> nice icebergs. <Yeah. laughs> and tea, put them together. <laughs> oh, my glasses are falling. Um, so, yeah, it's very quiet. This gate is, like, empty. There's, like, two people sitting over here. Perfect escape gate. Um, anyway, I'm gonna eat my lunch and uh, check in later. You guys, this is my view. <laughs> I don't know what that is. But look at the little poofy clouds above. They look like they're painted on happy little clouds. Hey, so uh, another part of the D responsibilities is on the 800s, we have an equipment uh, bin right here. <laughs> and uh, it has safety equipment in it and emergency equipment. And uh, the D is responsible for that. And I learned something that I swear I never heard before. And if I did, I apologize to whoever told me or my instructors or whoever, and all the people who are, might think I'm dumb for not remembering this, but uh, I asked one of my coworkers, who's like a 20 plus year flight attendant with us, um, about the demo equipment, because it was always my understanding that the um, D was in, responsible for the demo equipment in the back. Yeah, but a lot of times the B gets it out. So anyway, um, I asked her, who's responsible because it seems like the bee always does it and she said it would be the D because it's on the carpet and so I never thought about that so the B is responsible for everything off the carpet in the back the D is responsible for everything past the exit row on the carpet and the C is the front part on the carpet and the exit row obviously and then the A is everything off the carpet in the front what a cool way to think of it my hair. This is what happens when I try to curl my hair. This is a freaking hot mess. 
the rest of my crew is not here yet, so I'm just chilling on the airplane, waiting. Here's this. You guys, I just found out I'm the most senior flight attendant on this flight. Yeah, I'm the most senior. Oh, they're here. I'm going to go meet them. What are you guys doing down there? <laughs> this is Albany, y'all. <laughs> Super beautiful. <laughs> uh, so you guys remember how I encourage you to not be slam clickers? Look at how beautiful I look. Mm. Um, some days you just look outside and you see the wind blowing and you're really tired. <laughs> just can't be motivated to do much of anything. I am walking to Trader Joe's though because I need some cash to pay my tips. I ran out of tip money. Um, other than that, I'm going to do diddly squat. Diddly squat. Um, yeah, so I'm tired. I did not go to bed until... 2 a.m. East Coast time because I was reading that book. <laughs> I can't stop reading. Um, and then I downloaded another one. I did not start it, but I'm having coffee right now. I am going to go work out and then I'm going to eat food and then I'm going to walk to Trader Joe's. That is my plan. <sighs> I don't report until 6 o'clock p.m. Blech. Shows me getting in at one. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. No, I don't. Uh, but you know, I don't know what I'm going to do about it. These windows, you can see straight through them. I can see into that room over there. So, yeah. All right. And there's guys on the roof. Uh, that's all I have to say. Bye. All right, friends, I finished my workout and now I'm going to go walk to Trader Joe's. Um, I think it's like 66 outside, so hopefully I don't freeze to death. I'm not taking a jacket, just my sweatshirt, and I have my workout shorts on, so we'll see if I survive. Um, yeah, okay. I don't know why I would do that. Uh, okay, bye. You guys, it is such a beautiful day out. I packed thinking it was going to be very chilly and it is not. Oh look! Look what I see. Where is he? Oh, can't find him. <laughs> can hear him, I just can't see him. Good morning friends. I don't know why I'm awake. Uh, it's almost 11. I did not get home until after 4 a.m. Uh, we got to LAX at 2 and walked to my car because I'm brave and badass like that. Um, <laughs> just kidding. And then I'm flying out. I stopped at the uh, mini mart and I got a little snack. Um, and uh, oh, yeah, and apparently to go pee, you have to pay 25 cents. <laughs> I stopped to get my snack and as I was walking out I was like oh I should go to the bathroom so I turned around and I'm like oh can I use the restroom and she's like ah it costs a quarter <laughs> I'm like, I don't pee that bad <laughs> I could hold it so I did not go bath go to the bathroom on principle um <laughs> so anyway uh fly along nobody on the freeway going great what happens all of a sudden, ahead of me, I see the CHP going across, bloop, 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 which means they're stopping traffic. And I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> Every single time. So come to find out this morning that a guy stole a car and they were chasing him down and they pulled him over or he pulled over. I don't know. And then they shot him. I don't know if he's trying to run or what. So, that was at about 
think we sat there for almost 30 minutes while they blocked off the whole freeway. Thankfully, I was near the front and the exit was like right there. So I just whooshed off the exit and we finally got moving. And I've actually... Blessings, finding the bright spot. I have cut through this area before to bypass traffic. So I kind of knew like what to do. So I was able to cut across and get to the other freeway um, in about 10 minutes. But then, oh, <laughs> and then to top it off, <laughs> I finally get to like where I know like the ent freeway entrances and it's closed because they're doing road work. <laughs> like, dear Lord, it's three in the morning. I just want to go home. <laughs> That's all I want. I just want to go home. <laughs> So, uh, shortly after four, I arrived at my house. I was not a happy camper. <laughs> I was a little grumpy. Um, so, yeah. And the cat was looking at me like, what are you doing? Why are you crashing around in the kitchen? <laughs> anyway, so I'm home. Uh, trip went okay. It was delayed, and that's why I got in late, and blah, 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 you know. So, anyway. <sighs> this is the story of my life lately. I just want to go back to when everything was just smooth and we just got back from a trip and went home. I miss that. <sighs> Alright, it's Easter weekend. Um, not a lot going on. I got a lot of catching up to do on some emails and whatnot. And, uh, I'm gonna go get some coffee now because I can't go back to sleep. But anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. I hope you have a wonderful Easter weekend, whatever you do, if you celebrate, if you don't. Um, I hope that you are doing well. Have a great day.